All right, fellas. Since I'm fixing on taking these battery boxes to the recycler, metal recycler, I figure I'd give you a little video truck update. So this is all aluminum. There's four of these battery boxes in here. And in phase two, we're going to be shoving more batteries into my truck. And here they are. So these are two BMW battery packs, six modules on this side, six modules on the other. We have one like this in the truck right now. Don't mind the mess. It's a nine kilowatt hour one. I'm going to take that one out and I am going to put two of the 12 kilowatt hour ones in instead for a total of 24 kilowatt hours about 80 miles of range and here we just have all the guts and the boxes so i'm going to take this to a metal recycler i'll take you along on a drive and we'll see how many tens of dollars we'll make on this stay tuned So guys, the truck runs and drives great. We're rocking 411 gears now in a diff or a range hole. And I really don't want to tear it apart, but we need an upgrade. Our range is only about 30 miles. We want to have a range of about 84, 85 miles. But it runs smooth, it runs great. We're going to also lock out MG1 so that both motors inside of this transmission power the rear wheels now. And yeah, it's going to be faster, torquier, horsepower, rur -rur, and just overall more better. But for now, we're off to a metal recycler. Hey guys, it's my first time here, so I'm not really sure where I'm going, but I guess I'm heading this way. So here we go. What if this is one of these places where they just weigh the whole thing? I'm not sure. Maybe not, maybe we just back into this place. So here we are at Sims Metal Management. First time here, this is close to my house actually, my new house. Anyway, I backed in here like all these other dudes. This is if you don't have that much metal, but since we have quite a bit, these guys recommend that I pull up to these bins and just dump it in one of these bins, and I guess they weigh it. I did ask if I could video here and they were cool with it. 
So again, I'm not being that guy. And I recommend if you guys want to shoot in a public place, just ask them, you know, tease them with something like, hey, this is an electric vehicle. And they'll all think it's cool. And then they're more likely to say, sure, man, no problem. Unload it. You can shoot video. It's all good. So here I am slowly unloading, filling up the bin. Less in the truck and more in the bin. Super exciting stuff. We'll see how much this costs, guys. So let me keep going. There he goes, grabbing my bin. I guess they pick it up, obviously weigh it. Then maybe weigh it again empty. Interesting. Okay guys, I want to shoot this video real quick. We just got done with the metal place. The second guy wouldn't let me record. The first guy did, so I just respected their wishes. I don't care if they're inconsistent or not. You just do what you're told. So this place is, it's nuts, man. So here I am in California. I had to, you know, show my ID. I had to give him a thumbprint to sell some freaking scrap metal. How ridiculous is that? And guess what? Um, we have our receipt here. I'll go over the numbers, but I don't have any money. I have to wait three days. There is some bizarre, crazy three-day hold before you can get paid. Of course, it's a California law. I wonder if it causes cancer to get paid on the same day. So here's what we have. So so it says gross 785 pounds i'm sure that's with the bin then there's tear 581 and then net is 204 pounds okay 204 pounds and we're looking at looks like 51 cents a pound for uh for aluminum cast aluminum cast clean aluminum i guess it says and so i made 104 dollars and four cents I'm not sure how far across the Atlantic that will get me. Maybe I need to do like a little fishing boat, charter fishing boat to get over to Ireland um, with these proceeds. You don't know. So anyway, maybe I need to buy more battery packs and recycle more aluminum. But that's what we have here it was about 200 pounds of aluminum at about 50 cents a pound. And we made 100, 100 bucks. So, thanks for following along.